Better go after him. What a point. Future of pickleball, it's, it's bright. If you haven't picked it up, better make the switch now before it's too late. It's our fifth and final gold medal match of the day here at the 2023 APP Daytona Beach Open. Gold medal here, mixed doubles. Bobby Oshiro and Brendan Long taking on Paris Todd and Hunter Johnson. It's been a heck of a day so far. We've seen two of our four gold medal matches go to a game to 15. We will see if Hunter and Paris Todd can do the same and force that game to 15. But out of that winner bracket, it's Bobby Oshiro and Brendan Long, Chad. What are their keys to victory here? Yeah, I think keys to victory is going to be how well Brendan Long can control the tempo of this game. And then on the flip side, you have Paris Todd and Hunter Johnson, who are their opponents coming out of the consolation bracket. And again, they have to take the two out of three and the game to 15 to get Paris Todd that triple crown. Yeah, I think it's it's going to be a, a, a good test here for Todd and Johnson. Uh, Johnson just coming off of the loss in the men's doubles final. So Todd kind of has to keep him up, keep him positive. But the actual test on the other side is something that we've discussed a few times with Bobby Oshiro is how well she is going to be able to move uh, and kind of cover the court with that hip flexor issue that we, we saw come uh, in the women's bronze medal match last night when she was playing with Lee Whitwell. All right, so we'll see there. Just about set and ready to go here on court. Last match of the day, mixed pro doubles gold medal match. Oshiro and Long taking on Todd and Johnson. Low ball for Todd to try and speed up right there. Yeah, it's a tough speed up right there for, for Todd. Almost at the shoelaces. Yeah, good speed up there from Hunter Johnson right at the right hip of Bobby Oshiro. Oshiro finding that middle and Oshiro and Long on the board first. Oh, Oshiro going inside out at the left shoulder of Hunter Johnson here. Yeah, the, the big point here is the reset right there, getting that ball down, allowing her to get the speed up into the body of Johnson. Nice job by Paris Todd getting on top of that. Watch it almost like a little swat the fly on that speed up from Brendan Long. You see it right here. Just swat at it. Whatever works, right? That ball just clips the line back there. Off the tape for Hunter Johnson and Todd and Johnson on the board. Good pressure there from Brendan Long. Reaching in, taking that ball early, brushing up the back of it. A nice job, good pressure there from Brendan Long as Todd wanted to reset down that line. She saw him coming and tried to keep it really low to the net. 
out yeah, just long on the counter from Bobby Oshiro good job getting this ball right here but then as she's backing out Todd speeds up and she's on her heels can't get on top of that oh that is a huge <laughs> oh. hand from Bobby Oshiro <laughs> oh right my. through the middle people don't realize how good of a ball this is right here I mean, it's, it's so compact, They too. both look at each other as it goes past. Oh, no, he wants that one back. He set it up perfectly. Good speed up into the body of Todd and just gets that floater and overhits it. Oh, oh. called in and on the line. I think both referees called that one in. So ball called good right there, down the line. Such good, oh, oh no, I was saying, I was about to say it, such good protection by Brendan Long as Oshiro was coming up on the stack. Had no thought that Hunter was going to get that ball back over. Oh, no. Oh, no. And a 4-3 lead here for Johnson and Todd. Yeah, big serve there from Johnson. I, it's almost the situation where Oshir is not going to be able to come across the court for that stack while Johnson's serving. And I just don't think she's able to get there because one, she's returning hard, and then two, she's not moving 100% right now. So the timeout here for Moshiro and Long down 6-3 now. They were up 3-1, so 5-0 run by Todd and Johnson. What's been the difference maker for Todd and Johnson, Chad? Yeah, I mean, a couple a couple of errors here and there from uh, from Oshiro with missed balls in the net, like the, the last one there. but. I also think, too, is that Todd and, and Johnson are, are starting to move the ball around a little bit better. Initially, they were trying to hit, they were trying to hit the ball through Long and Oshiro. Now they're, they're moving it around. They're setting up their opportunities and pulling the trigger at the right time. Yeah, it's a good call. Early on, they thought they were going to overpower Oshiro and Long, and that's not the case. Got to pick your your spots at this moment, and they've done a good job of that. The 5-0 run for Todd and Johnson to take a 6-3 lead. Brennan Long doing his best Rafa intimidation as he sprints onto the court. I like it. Perfect spot there from Paris Todd and perfect time for it, Chad. Yeah, good reach in. Oshiro leaves that ball up a little bit. See it right there, right into the body. Nice job of Bobby Oshiro getting that ball at the feet of Paris Todd there, jamming her up. Thirds into, well, sorry, a missed ball from Oshiro and then a missed third from Brendan Long.
Just long there from Paris Todd. It's almost an odd time to speed up, right? Almost it caught was, her it, off balance. It was a strange speed up in in a couple of <laughs> for a couple of reasons. One was the timing of it. Two was the bowl. Second one yes. into the net, Sitter. He's had two sitters. Just getting on top of it too much to try to hit it with, with too much power. That one was on serve too, so that one would have cost would have got him a point. The other one I believe was on when they were receiving. They were both on were serve. they both on serve? Mm -hmm. So tough right there. That's two points. And another missed return there from Ashiro. just on that line right there. And Oshiro almost like, not sure if she got this as clean as she was wanting to. Ball does drop in. In baseline. Great ATP defense by Brennan Long, but can't do much with it as you watch. Puts himself in great position here. But then Hunter Johnson closing out that middle and putting it away. Yeah, I like the pressure there from Moshe Shiro and Long keeping Johnson and Todd back. Oh, Bobby Oshiro. Look at the shape she puts on this ball, too. She just picks that almost off her shoe tops. Paddlehead drop down. Quick roll up. Keep, try to keep the ball on the paddle as long as you can. Getting a little too big right there. He's on it, but trying to do a little too much with this last ball. Good speed up from Johnson. Long could only just get a little flick of a paddle on it. Oh, wow, that ball. Sitting on the forehand. What a spot from Paris Todd. We talked about it yesterday a little bit with how short and compact she's gotten on the forehand side now. Long trying to do too much. All of the balls that he's missed into the net, he's tried to rush through and hit with more pace than what's necessary. Wow, such a good ball, recognizing position. And Brendan Long pleading that that ball was out, but it is not. And it is game number one going to Todd and Johnson, 11-5. We'll see if Oshiro and Long have an answer here in game number two. Here at the APP. started here let's do the rockin protein play of the day comes from our last match between Annalie Waters and Salome Davidze this was an absolutely incredible point here these ladies had a great battle 
Watch this dig from Waters off the tape. DeVidze gets it, but Waters Woo! with the cross court winner. And that is your rocking protein point of the day. Proud ambassador of Original Penguin. Pro athlete, weekend warrior, or everyday active? Stay in the game with Active Tracks, powered by Core Physical Therapy. Core's team of physical therapists and athletic trainers promote injury prevention, rehabilitation, and fast recovery to keep you from being sidelined. We use cutting edge technology to treat the chronic conditions and injuries from high impact, high repetitive activities. Step into an active tracks tent in your community or visit one of our clinics. Core Physical Therapy, treating everyone right. The 2023 APP Daytona Beach Open is sponsored by Consumer Cellular, Powerplay, Gamma, and USA Pickleball. And game number two here about to get started. Game one going to Paris Todd and Hunter Johnson by a score of 11 5. Oshiro and Long trying to answer here in game number two. And that's a good start for them as they're on the board first. What's at stake here? Gold medal. Oshiro and Long need to win this two out of three, and it'll be over. If Todd and Johnson win the two out of three, we will go to a game to 15. You can't feed Paris Todd a ball right there. She's going to eat that up all day right there. Hunter Johnson putting on the pressure. He crashed on a ball that I did not think he probably should have. And this one right here. He comes in real hard and just puts a ton of pressure on Oshiro and well, Long. It also worked out well because Long let that one bounce and gave the time as he backed away. Mm -hmm. uh, forcing it again. Long just seems to be pressing a little bit right now, trying to make things happen. Wind kicked up. Yeah, it's a different Brendan Long than what we saw on Friday. So here's what I'd like to see. So Shiro's getting caught. Now she did a good job out of transition there, but she's getting caught in the transition area on her return. She's got to return flat down the line. She's returning cross court and allowing Hunter Johnson to attack her. If anyone's going to attack, it's got to be Paris Todd cross court to her. That way Long can protect her. Big serve there from Brandon Long. Kicks up into the body of Hunter Johnson. This kind of comes across the body a little too much. Closed himself off with that right foot cross step. Oh, that's going to leave him on. Yeah, it is. I think that's already left him on. <laughs> what a much better swing on that ball right there. He didn't yeah, get he too big. He just punched that ball down. He's got more than enough power to keep that paddle out in front and just hit through. Oh, 
nice top spin right there from Hunter Johnson. And again, that's that 6-0. He's swinging now, creates a little more I mean, top I'm, and action I, on I'm that. I'm not too sure how tall Bobby Oshiro is, and I don't want to offend her, but that ball was above her head and dropped in the baseline. Good reach in there from Brendan Long. And Oshiro did a better job on that return. She went flat down the line. Long was able to protect her while she comes up cross court. Much better job, good adjustment. Just missing that sideline is Paris Todd. Not a bad pull. She just pushed it a little too far wide. Nice drop there from Bobby Oshira going behind Hunter Johnson. Not quite opening the hips up enough to keep that separation. Again, Hunter Johnson getting caught, trying to go backside, cross court with the backhand. Almost in the exact same spot of the net. So the, the previous two balls sold that for Oshiro right there. You see Johnson step toward the line, thinking that Oshiro is going to go behind him for the third time. Nice counter, and it's all started by the counter from Paris Todd reading the long speed up. Paddle up in the air for Paris Todd. Yeah, she did just too much movement on that last speed up right there. So timeout here for Todd and Johnson as Oshiro and Long have kind of settled in a little bit here, Chad, and figured things out. What is it, though, that they have figured out as far as strategy-wise goes? Well, Shiro started keeping Johnson a little bit more off and honest, keeping him out of the middle of the court. So it's kind of throwing off the movement of Paris Todd a little bit as well. We take a look back at the previous point. Right there, Todd just tries to move a little too much. But, but keeping Johnson honest now forces Todd to have to cover out wide and through the middle. So they're keeping the balance off much better than what they were in game one. The players come back on court here after the Todd and Johnson timeout. Oshiro and Long up by three. Be Bobby Oshiro to serve at 7 4 here in the mixed doubles gold medal match. Oshiro and Long to win the two, uh, looking to win the two out of three and be your gold medalist here at the APP Daytona Beach Open. Much better job by Brendan Long there, Chad. Yeah, much, great job by Brendan Long, but, but even better job from Bobby Oshiro. Really setting up for Long to go behind Todd. Just started moving too soon to come back and cover middle. Four, eight, one. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, went too big again. He can't fall back into that pattern where he's oh. trying to do too much. Good block there from Long, and then Oshiro. It, it wasn't a big swing. She just didn't get it up and over. It was the right counter. But here comes Todd and Johnson now back within two. That one. Look at that big looping Paris Todd serve that she creates so much topspin on. It creates issues. Good spot there from Long. Todd came over a little too far onto the Johnson side of the court there. Nice step in from Brendan Long right there as Paris Todd tried to change the spot and go to the middle, but Long was sitting there. Yeah, and it was a good job by Oshiro too, keeping the pressure and pulling Todd out wide and then mixing up going more into the body. Got it. Yes! Nice pull from Paris Todd. And the control on that shot, Todd, or, uh, Chad, to keep that ball in from Paris Todd. Oh, I was laughing at that one because she hit that one really, really hard and still landed it in six feet. Ball in. Wow. I mean, he punishes this ball, does Brendan Long. It was an excellent drop by Long and Oshiro. She had the opportunity to pull the trigger, but just came out flat off the paddle. Almost gets that back, does Paris Todd. But what a lob by Bobby Oshiro in the middle of all that. What did not miss by much? And that, that the Big serve there again from Brendan Long, bringing up game point for Long and Oshiro. So yeah, now a timeout here from Todd and Johnson as Oshiro and Long kind of have figured it out again and trying to force this third game. But again, you said the big serve, right? Talk a little bit about that. We have differences, right? You have talk both sides of the net. Brendan Long, huge serve. Likes to be really aggressive. But then talk about Paris Todd's too. It's not overly aggressive or it doesn't look overly aggressive, but why is it effective? Well, I think she's taking a big swing on it, but what is happening is that she is using the, her ability to get underneath the ball and hit with heavy top spin. And adding that top spin kind of takes away some of the power a little bit, but she's getting more kick by how much she's coming from bottom to top of the ball and really brushing up the back of it. And when that kicks up, it makes it very difficult to get on top of the return. So now you're in a position, you're expecting it to be, you know, let's say waist high, 
and it picks up just a little bit above the waist and you start swinging up on it, now it's difficult to keep that return. One inside the baseline or two, if you miss hit it, it's going to go short and sit up. Game point here for Bobby Oshiro and Brendan Long. And Hunter Johnson just gets out of the way. I thought it might have clipped his arm as it goes by, but it doesn't. It'll be game point number two here for Oshiro and Long. Yeah. Another sitter on you, the you, battle of you, Brendan Long. Chad and I, you and I are up here in the booth just cringing right now because it's a couple balls. That's it's about four. five, four or five that Brendan Long has, but just overhits a little bit. Good ball movement there by Oshiro. but goes a little wide. It was way out, it was way out. Oh, and, and it's an overturn on this side. Oh. So the far ref called it out. You called it out? In full replay. Out, in, So in, one in, saw out, out one saw in, so it's a replay. No, I know, but hmm. like, it happened in the last match, you had to replay it. See again here on this one. That ball was wide. So it's a replay here. So it'll be 7, 10, 2. As we discuss what is going to happen here as there is a Disagreement between the line judges on ball in or out. And looks like we have it. We will right. So we will replay the point at 7 10 on two. Does not go over. Rolled on top of the net for a little bit, but falls back on the Oshiro long side. Nice ball by Paris Todd. She goes left hip. So what was a 7-10? Or 10 7 side out for Shearer and Long. Nine, ten, now a 9 10. Oh, the unforced error there from Hunter Johnson will give Oshiro and Long their third game point. Two combo from Paris Todd. And we've seen that combination in the last match from Kyle Yates where he speeds up on the sideline and then slides and is able to put the ball away in the middle. Quick side out there for Long and Oshiro. Gives Todd and Johnson a chance to tie this one up. Wow, I mean that was just in it's in a no man's land right there as he that ball go, hits. He couldn't go he couldn't go up and over it and he couldn't go around. There was nothing he could do right there. Oh, 
Oh, and we are now all tied up here, Chad, at 10. Yeah, go ahead, Jack, go ahead. I was going to say, good control there from Johnson with the drive and then the drop. Putting different pressure there on Oshiro. So it is game and match point here for Todd and Johnson to force the game to 15. Again, off the paddle of Brendan Long. And this one is going to the game to 15 here on a championship court for the gold medal. And a little controversy here on court between Long, Oshiro, Yates, and Todd. But we are going to the game to 15. here on Championship Court at the APP Daytona Beach Open. for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the APP Tour.
For just a little bit more, I can get you unlimited minutes, data, and text. Six hotspots, concert coupons, cable subscription, dental cleanings. We need all that? Do we need all that? I wouldn't think so. You should use Consumer Cellular. They have everything you need, nothing you don't. I'll throw in this tiny little fan. Car wash voucher? Ha! <laughs> Light up soap dispenser. I think you lost. Get the exact same coverage as the nation's leading carriers. All the talk, text, and data you need starting at $20. Consumer Cellular. The 2023 APP Daytona Beach Open is sponsored by Franklin, USA Pickleball, and Penguin. Back here on Championship Court, we are going to the game to 15, but let's first take a look at what we think was the deciding factor. What was the momentum changer here where Brendan Long did not agree with the call? There was a little bit of a dispute and that was the momentum changer, Chet, in that. For Long and Oshiro, instead, it became 8-10 for Todd and Johnson. Oh, look. Todd and Johnson even even knew that that ball was was out. Right, and it just and it got overturned, was called in, and it really got to Brendan Long a little bit too much. I know it's upsetting, and I get that, right? But you got to let it go. Pickleball is a game where you cannot let stuff bother you that long. It did. Momentum shifted. 12-10 victory in game two for Todd and Johnson, and we are going to the deciding game to 15. For the gold medal here at the APP Daytona Beach Open. Ball sailed on Todd. Kicked up on her a little bit with the open face. It just floated long. That ball just right at the left shoulder of Oshir. If she gets out of the way, that ends up about eight to nine feet out. Zero, one, one. Oh, one. Shiro getting a little too big and overhitting on that one. And then she's trying to keep that ball down the line right there, which I like. Again, that's the spot she's got to go when she's getting in that stack, but just goes a little too close. Great hands from Oshiro in the middle of that point just to keep that ball in play, Chad. Yeah, just threw a paddle on it, but that last ball from, as we see, go right there, just back over the net. That last speed up from Todd, not the best ball to try to do that with. Oh, Oshiro sitting on that speed up right there, front pairs, Todd. He's like, yeah, give me that one again. Again, short and compact, doesn't get big. If she got big, she misses that. Oh, skip on Johnson? Yeah, I think it was a little bit of added spin coming off of the net plus combination of the line. It, it stayed down. Oh, nice ball there from Paris Todd is. Long was pinching middle. She goes back behind. I mean, that's a good attack from Long, but it's almost like you got to go right hip there instead of going at the left hip with Todd City on the backhand. That was ambitious. 
Yeah, that, that, I don't think that was there. If it was, it was a very small window to hit that ball through. Shiro just getting a little flat on that third shot drop. Gonna go to the left foot of Hunter Johnson. Much better job by Brendan Long right there. Two balls that he had up that he hit with some control. Kept the point going. Didn't try and force anything. Mm, big serve from Johnson. Pinned Oshiro back in the corner. But Todd tried to rush that third shot a little bit and end up flattening out into the net. Wow, Paris Todd, ladies and gentlemen, handling the heat of Brendan Long here. Just counters it from like a squatted position, almost down to a knee. A mm, little unlucky. Catching the net on the Oni there from Ashiro. I like the attempt. If she's able to get that clean, that might be a winner. But it pops up off the tape, and that's an easy put away for Hunter Johnson. A couple unforced errors from Hunter Johnson on a dink in this mat in this game to 15 so far. The one there, flattening out on the third shot drive. That ball skipped off the baseline. It was a beautiful drop from Long on a tough ball, and then Oshiro trying to come in, punch that backhand. It was just a little, little late getting to that ball there. As well. That one get behind her. We continue to trade side outs here at 2-3 two, three, and 3-2. Three, no one wanting to pull away just yet. Bobby Oshiro pulling, tucking that shoulder in so she doesn't get hit. She became real skinny right there. Oh, Paris Todd, beautifully done right there around the post. You almost look shocked here, Chad. I. Well, oh, <laughs> it was wow. hidden. It was hidden from our view as far as how wide that ball was. Trouble there. When you go for the Oni and you don't end the point on it, this leaves you way out of position. Todd was saying yes to Hunter to hit that. He lets it go going, no, no, we're good. I'll let this one go. He smiles at her. Oh, and Hunter Johnson inside out forehand, Chad, and they are feeling it right now. Thus a timeout on the other side from Oshiro and Long. Chad, you're sitting in the huddle. 
with Bobby Oshiro and Brendan Long. What are you telling them right now? First, it's a good timeout, but what are you telling them they need to do when they get back on court? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good timeout. That it's not too far out of reach right now, but I still think they hung, hung up a little bit on game two there in the two out of three where they're not – they're not taking some of the chances that they were in game two, right? O- Oshiro is is moving the ball around, but it's not not quite enough. Long's kind of speeding some balls up, but not doing enough with them. So so right now it's it's we got to try to do a little bit more. So here's our point at four three. And great job right down the middle there from Hunter Johnson, and then this is the point at five three. And this is that, I believe, the ATP here from, oh, this is that firefight at 5-3. And letting that ball go right there is Hunter Johnson. Gives them the 6-3 lead here. In this game to 15, will change ends at 8. the way things were going that was going to sit on top of the net roll along for about four feet and then trickle down the net <laughs> long little off balance there falling backwards didn't quite have a solid enough base to put a good drop on that ball Better step in and drive there from Long, putting the pressure on Todd. Nice ball right there, a little flick roll with the forehand from Bobby Oshiro. Almost goes over, and she was just trying to get out of the way of that. And almost, before it almost gets her, that ball was going way out. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a look at here. Good defense <laughs> from Long. Johnson was putting the pressure on. I'm not sure. Ah. It, that ball was definitely going out. Todd. If she had gotten out of the way of it. Let's go! Oh, Brendan Long with the ATP on the backhand side. And Paris Todd and Hunter Johnson, I believe, are going to call a timeout here as Oshiro and Long take all the momentum back here, Chad. I question the timeout, though. You're one point away from right, the Right, exactly. Change. So they do take the timeout, though. Like you said, why do you question that again? Explain to everybody why you would question a timeout at 7-6 in a game to 15. I mean, you're, you're one point away from the end change in a free timeout. It gives you two timeouts going into the second half of this one. Yeah, if... if as we see this last play, it's the rockin' protein moment of the match. Oh, just hooks that back around on the backhand side. He made that look so easy and smooth. But that is a very difficult shot, especially on that backhand side. As we come back in, it's Bobby Oshiro serving. Second server up by one. And 
None for <laughs> there, there from Hunter Johnson and Chad. Go right ahead oh, and lead into now, that. Now's your second timeout. Right, <laughs> exactly, and that's it right there. Is that's your free timeout, right? You're one point away. Yeah. So that's kind of what we talk. What you're talking about, right? So, so let's take a look at what is on at stake here for Paris as far as a triple crown goes today. Sunmet Punta Gorda Open Championship Sunday, match number one. Paris Todd and Megan Fudge in women's pro singles. Todd's feeling it right now. And Paris Todd gets it. Going for that triple crown. I'm not done today, so I'll see me out here two more times, and I want the triple crown. Paris getting fought up. And Paris Todd has a chance for a triple crown. Wow, oh, that's a nice ball from Todd right there. There you have your gold medalist, Hunter Johnson and Paris Todd. Paris Todd is your triple crown winner. I've been working so hard in the off season, have such good friends and family around me that have given up so much for me just to be in this position, so I'm so blessed, I'm so thankful. So a triple crown for Paris Todd in Punta Gorda. She's got two of the three taken care of today in singles and in women's doubles. This is the last one she needs to complete another triple crown here in Daytona Beach. What? Yoshiro, go. go! Go, Bobby, go. Going hands battles with Hunter Johnson right there. Then another free point there with the Johnson return missing in the net. Brendan Long going to a knee, going, oh, no, just give me a little more on that. I mean, if that goes over, that is going to be difficult to pick up. Oh. Work to do here from Paris Todd and Hunter Johnson, though, down by four, game to 15. Winner is your gold medalist here. Very good ball movement, a good spot there from Mashiro. She goes out wide to the Todd forehand and then goes back into the left foot. And in the middle of they that, one. there was a ball that Paris Todd should have put away, and she didn't. I don't know if she just didn't read it right, but she just kind of pushed it to the sideline. Good drive and good close from Brandon Long. And he is fired up right here as they extend their lead to five. Oh, he, he was not happy at the end of game number two because of that call, and he is still not happy, and he is showing it as he's staring down both Todd and Johnson as they take a five-point lead. What do Todd and Johnson, though, need to do here, Chad, to slow this momentum because it's all Oshiro and Long right now. Yeah, Johnson's a little off balance right now, and it's in reality it's Oshiro that is setting up both herself and Long at this point. I think for, for Todd and Johnson, you know, you got to try to put in, as, at this point in time right now, with Oshira and Long serving, 
And now, right, we're at 11-6, they're out of timeouts because they used that timeout before the end change. Yep. So, yeah, no timeouts. They got a lot of work to do. So they got to get nine points with no timeouts. Yeah. So they need to get on a roll here because the last thing they can afford to do is let Oshiro and Long pull away anymore. They're right here. Got to get a good return in, put the pressure on from the get-go. Anything short, you're asking for trouble. And that is all because Bobby Oshiro is getting everything back. So Hunter Johnson's trying to be really specific with where he goes with this ball and pulls it wide. And Oshiro and Long double up their score on Todd and Johnson. Oh, that's a big time sub. Big time third shot drive. And what was the adjustment he made right there? He had a sitter and he just at about 70% because he didn't have to go any harder. Nope. The placement over power. Puts it in the right spot. Two points away from a gold medal. Oh, what a read from Oshiro. It was perfect. She saw Hunter Johnson going for the Ernie. He runs around. She flips up over the top. All she needed to do was keep that in. Johnson trying to force the drive, rush through it. Can't get three points Six. at a time, swing. right? Oh, quick side out, miscommunication in the middle. So just like Deescu and Yates played spoiler for Hunter Johnson's triple crown, Oshiro and Long trying to play spoiler for Paris Todd. Yeah. Oshiro rushed into the kitchen on that one, got herself off balance. Good attack by Johnson. Ball on the line and in right there. That was and close. Wow. And it is gold medal point here for Bobby Oshiro and Brendan Long. Double spoiler back to back. Absolutely so. Bobby Oshiro and Brendan Long play spoiler for Paris Todd as they upset the Triple Crown. Bid for Paris. So your silver medalist, Hunter Johnson and Paris Todd, and your gold medalist, Bobby Oshiro and Brendan Long. Wow, Chad, what a match. Yeah, I mean, that was. There, a little bit of controversy there at the end of the two out of three with Oshiro and Long losing 10-12. But they recomposed themselves. They got together here in the game to 15 and won this one quite convincingly. But I'll tell you the difference in this game to 15 was Bobby Oshiro. Bobby oh, Oshiro was yeah. controlling the points moving the ball around, setting herself and Brendan Long up. And Brendan made the adjustment of when he got the, the, the balls that he could put away or be more aggressive with, he didn't try to overhit them. In the, in the first two games, what do we have? I think we counted six or seven sitters that were there that he could put away, and he tried to do too much with, hit him straight down into the net. So good adjustment, and that is... In reality, and, and, and in essence, the benefit of coming in on the winner's bracket side, right, is, is okay, we weren't playing the best in the first two games, but we had time 
and we had the ability to make the adjustment going into that double dip game. Right, they have that they have that game to 15 in their back pocket so they can play or not play around a little bit, but if they do lose, they have that say, hey, we'll pull it out, we'll play that game to 15, and they handled their business. Again, it's a game of making adjustments, and again, Brendan Long made some good adjustments from the two out of three to the game to 15. Very impressive. Um, very happy for him <coughs> and Bobby Oshiro. Again, you and I have known Brendan for a long time. He's putting in the work. He's putting in the time. And it's really starting to show as, you know, they did a great job in this gold medal match. Welcome back to Champions Court. Let's give it up for our silver medalists and our mixed pro doubles round. Harris Todd, Hunter, how are you guys feeling right now? You know, it's not the outcome we had expected or wanted, but they both had an amazing tournament and they had an amazing match today. Congrats to Brendan and Bobby. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Hunter, what are you taking away from this silver medal right here? Yeah, we're going to just take some things away from this and learn from it. Uh, congrats to you guys. You guys have been amazing this, this week. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can maybe get you guys back in the coming tournaments. So, but, yeah. One more round of applause for your silver medalist. Ken, will you do the honors? Now it is time for your gold medal interview powered by Franklin. What a match, you guys. Congratulations to Bobby Oshiro and Brendan Long. Ken, let's get them some hardware as well. <laughs> This is your first gold medal here in the APP Tour. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. Uh, I've played a lot of tournaments and uh, haven't really won one yet, so <laughs> I'm really happy to get one now, and especially with Bobby because he's such a great partner. Bobby, we've been talking about it all week long, your agility. I mean, how did you stay in the game, high energy, all week long? I think having, you know, Brendan as a partner who's very supportive and just, you know, continually talking to each other and communicating each other in between points um, during timeouts really, really helps. And, and it's just, you know, keeping going and keeping um, playing one point at a time. Okay, let's get to the fun part. Let's get them their big trophy. Congratulations again to your gold medalist. So there it is, Brendan Long and Bobby Oshiro, your gold medalist here at the 2020